Good morning from the Dead Sea. Here during the last century, they found ancient pieces of parchment that turned out to be biblical texts. Today, they're still discovering more about them and you're not going to believe how. This is the lowest place on Earth, but they're using technology designed to look at the stars. This barren landscape hid a secret for more than 2,000 years, one of the most important biblical finds of all time. Ten jars, some of them were broken, and when he opened one of the completely jar, he saw three scrolls. Little wonder access is restricted. NBC News granted a rare opportunity to film with the Israeli Antiquities Authority's Dr. Ofa Sion, where early Jews hid biblical texts. Here, some of the first discoveries were made, in this cave, by an Arabic nomad. He wanted to find a golden coins, or a gold treasure, or a diamond, or whatever. But he didn't understand that what he found are much more than gold. A Jewish tribe, in terror of the Romans, placed parchments in the caves, planning to return later. They never did. It's incredible to imagine them in here, hiding those early biblical texts. The texts became world-renowned as the Dead Sea Scrolls. You're seeing the scrolls. Wow. But that's not the end of the story. Every fragment is important. It's like opening the oldest Bible in the world. This laboratory, home to 25,000 fragments of the scrolls, is still discovering hidden words on the parchments. You see, it says here, Zamra. Zamra means uh, to sing. Wow. OK, now... To sing? Yeah. Which... Le Zamer is to sing. Th this is a word that you never knew was there. That new word, found by this young Israeli-American researcher. It was very exciting. I mean, I started this project. I took this small box, <laughs> which had what looked like garbage in it, and all of a sudden I find words that I recognized. They are using advanced image technology designed to detect patterns in the darkness of space. And we're using NASA technology to investigate the same material. So you think about the people sitting in the cave in the desert with no tech at all, and then we are investigating them with the super high-tech technology. Utilizing the light spectrum and highly tuned cameras, the computer highlights even blackened scriptures. The bottom parts are completely illegible. You can see the words mystically really revealed. Yes, because everything that is sensitive to uh, the, this particular IR light is coming out. A biblical jigsaw puzzle, where until now, the pieces were invisible. The Dead Sea Scrolls are actually dying. The Dead Sea Scrolls survived in the caves 2,000 years. It's our duty to try and preserve them. And today, they are reading scrolls that are like coal. From ashes, uh, the Bible with technology. 70 years after they were found in a cave. It is amazing to read now all the black parts of the bottom of the scrolls which were connected to the soil. Today we can read them with all this technology. It is amazing. Modern technology rewriting history. Amazing, isn't it, that they're using NASA technology to look at pieces of writing from thousands of years ago. It is so important that they preserve those parchments because it turns out sometimes you really don't know what you've got.